Well, tonight, a six-year-long CBS News investigation into car seat back safety has prompted action in Congress. New legislation aims to strengthen seats after more than 100 severe injuries or deaths were attributed to seat backs failing in rear collisions. Here's CBS's Chris Van Cleve. Tonight, new legislation aims to prevent deaths like 16-month-old Taylor Warner. She was in her car seat behind her father when their minivan was rear-ended by a car going 55 miles an hour. His seat broke and collapsed backwards, killing Taylor. We first talked to parents Andy and Liz in 2015. She had about six weeks that she was toddling around, and then it was over. And it was all because of some stupid car that we thought was the safest thing we could, you know, get for our family to protect them. Our CBS News investigation has since revealed when hit from behind, front vehicle seats may break. Their occupants propelled forcefully into the rear seats where children often sit, as seen in these crash tests. We've confirmed more than 100 cases where people, usually children, were severely injured or killed in these crashes. Safety experts blame a federal seat strength standard that dates back to the 1960s, one even a banquet chair can pass. Uh, enough is enough. The new bill would require federal regulators and car makers to strengthen seat standards to guard against seatback collapse. CBS has put the spotlight on this issue. It's time for Congress and the Biden administration to put those safety measures in place. The Warners hope safer seats can be Taylor's lasting legacy. I've always thought of this as a way to, to make sure that she doesn't die in vain. Democratic Senators Ed Markey and Richard Blumenthal are hoping to pass this as part of the president's infrastructure bill. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, the regulator, declined to comment on proposed legislation. Nora. Chris Van Cleve, thank you.